The Red Sea crisis has disrupted shipping and global supply chains. But Saudi Arabia has come up with a plan to counter this chaos. Last month, the oil-rich kingdom, kingdom dramatically expanded crude shipments from its facility, which is the northern Red Sea route. This has enabled Saudi to bypass the southern Red Sea regions that Yemeni Houthi militants have been attacking with the US and UK retaliating. According to ship monitoring data published by Bloomberg, the kingdom's western port near Yanbu delivered 18 million barrels in January or 580,000 barrels each day. In contrast, a month prior, there were 8 million barrels or 258,000 barrels per day. January saw the US and UK commence air strikes against the Houthi rebels in Yemen, which severely disrupted the world's oil tanker markets. Many other businesses, especially those with connections to the US and the UK, have decided to completely shun the canal, despite Saudi Aramco's public declaration that it would, that it will still be operating its ships via the Red Sea. Loads and merges are transported by shuttle to the southernmost point of the summed up of the summed pipeline, which is situated in Egypt and then piped to the Mediterranean coast terminal at Sidi Kirir. Vessels receive the cargoes for further delivery over there, primarily to, to refiners in Europe. The east-west pipeline connects merges to oil resources in eastern Saudi Arabia. A few vessels exporting Saudi fuel are still navigating the southern Red Sea. In January, at least two tankers loaded at Mojiz crossed the Bab al-Mandeb Strait and sailed south towards Asia. Some shipping firms have chosen the more extended yet secure path.